Welcome back to the psychology of obesity. In our last video session, we talked about the dialectic balance between restriction and indulgence and how the simple act of restricting our behavior can cause us to sometimes overindulge. Today, we are going to deal with the subject of why we eat and provide you with some alternative activities to replace your eating behavior. To begin with, all human behavior is driven by the instinct to fulfill one or more of six fundamental human needs. One, certainty and comfort. The need for the feeling that everything is settled, secure, and that there are no nasty surprises around the corner. We all want comfort. And much of this comfort comes from certainty. Two, variety. Time we want certainty, we also crave variety. The need to feel that life is interesting, diverse, exciting and challenging. 3. Significance The need to feel that you have meaning to others, to feel that you are unique, special, important. 4. Connection and love The need to feel love from and for, and connection with others. We want to feel part of a community. We want to be cared for and cared about. 5. Growth the need for the feeling that we are growing, intellectually, spiritually, physically, etc. And finally, contribution. The desire to feel that we are giving of ourselves for the benefit of other living things, that we are contributing to life itself. When one or more of these basic human needs are restricted or missing from our lives, we often engage in a variety of self soothing activities to overcompensate for our needs. For many of us, food and overeating becomes that self-soothing activity we primarily engage in, and while living a rich and fulfilled existence should be our ultimate goal in life, reality, commitments, and situations often prevent us from achieving our ultimate goals. Self-soothing activities are not inherently bad or wrong, they assist us in dealing with the difficulties in life, but some of these activities can be self-destructive. Finding alternative self-soothing activities to replace your self-destructive behavior of overeating will be perhaps your greatest skill set in combating obesity. The goal with self-soothing skills is to comfort yourself emotionally by doing things that are sensually pleasant, but most especially not harmful. While most people will engage in a few activities without even perceiving them as self-soothing, the goal of this exercise is to list as many activities as possible. On this website you will find a downloadable form, in which you can fill out and keep with you, so that when you are tempted to eat emotionally, you can engage in one or more of these activities. It is important to list only those things that have meaning for you, either activities you already engage in, or that you can actually see yourself participating in, the more personal the list is the more it will be beneficial to you as a tool for combating obesity. Let us go through the 12 categories of self-soothing activities and give you some ideas on how you might fill out this form. Music Music has power to soothe the savage soul. It can inspire you, uplift your mood, and even make you smile when you're feeling blue. Make a playlist of your favorite songs and download them onto your iPod or computer for some touch of a button. Relief. Hobbies. Writing, playing a musical instrument, making bread, painting, or building models are all examples of hobbies that can be extremely soothing to the spirit. Make a list of your favorite hobbies or ones you've always wanted to try. Nature. Connecting with the natural world seems to have magical restorative powers for most people. Watch the birds at the feeder or bird bath, dig around in the garden, or go for a walk in the park. Write down ways in which you can incorporate nature into your life. Laughter We've all heard the saying, laughter is the best medicine, and for good reason. It works. Make a list of your go-to movies and TV shows when I need a good dose of silliness. Read some joke books or watch stand-up comedy on TV or on video or maybe even go to a comedy club for some laughter therapy. 
water. A good long hot bath or shower is always a soothing activity. Go for a swim, or sit in a hot tub, it's hard to eat, when you're neck high in water. Hot beverages Curling up with a nice hot cup of cocoa, or decaf coffee, or maybe some herbal tea, it is something you can't take a few minutes to do, even in the midst of one of those crazy days. To help you unwind without adding too many calories. Or aromatherapy. Light some scented candles, or use essential oils in a diffuser. Go outside and smell some flowers, or just some fresh air after it rains, or the smell of freshly cut grass. Find something, other than food, that enriches your sense of smell. Movement. When you're feeling blue or overwhelmed, you're less likely to feel like moving your body. Ironically, this is probably the time when it would benefit you the most. Go for a short walk, exercise, learn to dance. You may find that once you start moving you find yourself enjoying it, and end up doing more than you planned. Reading Getting lost in a good book is a self-soothing strategy. Go to the library, or visit your favorite used bookstore and pick up a few good books in which you've always wanted to read. And if you find yourself getting bored, reach for your favorite book rather than a snack. Relaxation Listen to a relaxation tape, practice self-hypnosis or meditation, use visualization techniques while listening to the sounds of nature, or simply take a quick nap. Oftentimes these forms of de-stressors are enough to keep you from overeating. Touch Get a massage Pet a dog or a cat Or simply brush your hair for an extended period of time. Touch is such a forgotten sensation in our society today, and yet, is so core to our physical needs and well-being. Find as many ways to incorporate touch into your life. It will keep you from eating and enrich your life enormously. And finally, simply be a kid again. Remember all those fun things you used to do when you were a kid. Play a game, build a model airplane, fly a kite, rediscover that inner child within yourself, play with some modeling clay, buy some crayons and color in a coloring book. The world is filled with possibilities, learn to enjoy life, remember. You're only as young as you feel, so why not feel like a kid, at least for a little while. It's better than stuffing yourself with food. The more of these self-soothing activities you can think of and incorporate into your life the less likely you are to eat compulsively. So make your lists, and refer to it often. And the next time you have a compulsion to eat, do something else, it will take your mind off of your desire for food and replace it with a more positive and beneficial activity. Good luck. And thank you for visiting the Psychology of Obesity. <laughs>